Hello and welcome to episode one of Art Swarm. Art Swarm is a new video program for artists where artists create new audio and video pieces every week. Um, because everything we show is going to be brand new, it's a world premiere, that's what makes it so exciting. People make things to a specific theme and this week's theme is endings and beginnings. Well I've got an exciting mix of video, a mix of audio, various things to bring you this week. Um, and the first piece is from Andrew Williams and it's entitled Endings and Beginnings and it's a mix of nostalgia for Arts Lab which is the radio program that this program evolved into. It contains a montage of some of his audio pieces, audio parts uh, but it also relates to, generally, to death and rebirth. So, uh, well, enjoy this, our first Art Swarm piece. Everything that has a beginning will pass away. And while we may mourn the loss of the Twitch words, mark the ending of the days we have known. We must remember While one thing is never to be seen again Another thing begins never seen before
Well, I hope you enjoyed that. Uh, next is a submission from myself, a music only piece which was inspired by the idea of palindromes, of music that plays the same forwards as backwards. So it's a piece that will play the same forwards as backwards, but not completely exactly, because I think that near symmetry is more interesting than complete symmetry. It's almost like information is trying to race from one half to the other. So this is a simple song entitled Beginnings, and I'll play the second half, Endings, uh, later on in the show. And next we have a piece from Deborah Edgeley entitled Glimpse, which is a video piece and a poem and a piece of music all laid together. The poem was inspired by the video and the music was then inspired by the words and the general feed of the whole piece. of your future. People yet to meet. Ideas yet to share. Will he 
face the tree behind bars. Let me out. Let me run on the green. Let me see another angle that's not brick and rail. Let me out. Let me out. Let me catch my future. Castle Park Art Center is holding an exhibition by the Association of Animal Artists who are exhibiting in all four galleries from the 30th of March until the 13th of May 2018 with award-winning members from around the world. They were exhibiting with the professional amateurs from all over the UK and Europe. You will not see another exhibition as diverse and inclusive as this in all of the UK. The exhibition depicts all realms of animal life. Birds, fish, reptiles, insects, domestic and wild, cloven, hooved and others. All advocates for sale and a percentage will be donated to their charity partner, which this year is the British Hedgehog Society. Hedgehog Preservation Society. There will be an open evening held on Friday the 6th of April at 7pm. You are all welcome. And now a piece uh, from Claire Bassey which is in two halves and it has a strange nuclear winter sort of feel and I think it was inspired by the theme Threads for a performance night that's coming up in Macclesfield soon. Threads was a uh, 1980s nuclear paranoia film. It's in two halves. The first half has got some images of like barbed wire and strange winterness and the second half is a speak and spell so both together act to make a sort of 80s feel. And now a piece from Stephen Goodwin, a poem and video entitled Great Beginnings, which is simply about jobs that don't get finished. Great Beginnings Need to Get Finished by Stephen Goodwin So 
Some beginnings are great and hook us in, reading that initial bit and knowing. This is my favourite book in all the world, though I have never read it. Knowing that through innocent eyes, the written world is not all it seems. And though it was a bright cold day in April and the clocks were striking 13, no one would have believed in the last years of the 19th century that this world was being watched from far out in the uncharted backwaters of the unfashionable end of this western spiral arm of the galaxy. All children except one grow up. He said, if music be the food of love, play on. I say, call me Ishmael. And although Mr. and Mrs. Dursley of number four Privet Drive were proud to say they were perfectly normal, thank you very much. When Mr. Bilbo Baggins of Bag End announced that he would shortly be celebrating his 111st birthday with a party of special magnificence. And although Alice was beginning to get very tired of sitting by her sister on the bank, I sit with my unfinished first novel. Gathering digital dust and I think I've started, so I'll finish. And now a, a video piece I've made entitled Trees Die to Become Pencils. And this came from a spontaneous idea when I, when I was thought of beginnings and endings as a theme. I thought instantly the start of a pencil and the end of a pencil. So I just made a quick montage of the start and end and then later added uh, um, it, as I came to the end, I added an extra dimension to it because I suddenly thought that pencils wear out and die effectively. And then I thought, well, trees sort of do that to make the pencils. Beginning. Beginning. And now from Andrew Williams, his second piece for this Arts War number one is Ouroboros which is um, the, the ancient symbol of a snake eating itself, a symbol of infinity or eternity. And so Andrew's made a montage of images that go with a story, a looping story, actually. So it fits perfectly with the endings and beginnings sort of thing. I awoke face down on a marble floor, an array of hexagonal tiles in blue and yellow. An ant walked past my nose, zigzagging back and forth across the dusty stonework. I rose unsteadily to my feet. Where was I? I found myself in a market square. A set of canvas-covered stalls, all empty, stood mournfully in the fading light. The sun was low on the horizon, and night would fall soon. Beyond the market stalls, the forest began. Oak, ash, birch, pine, beech and chestnut all intermingled and stretching out into the distance in all directions. This patch of marble was cut off from the rest of the civilised world. How did I get here? I had no memory of this place. And where was my father? I had been with him just a few minutes ago, hadn't I? A path lay ahead of me, overshadowed by the boughs of the trees. I had nowhere else to go but wherever it led. I saw him before he saw me, a young man staring at a gnarled old oak tree, 
been enraptured by some unknown sight. I called out to him as I came nearer. Slowly he came back to his senses, turning to face me with unblinking eyes. Where am I? I asked. His eyes drifted away from me and into the trees above. Everywhere. Nowhere. Somewhere. Who are you? I asked. Did you bring me here? I am me. You are not. He blinked slowly. You brought yourself here. Down the path. What's going on? I asked. He turned back to the oak tree. War, he said. Look, the warriors are on the march. I came closer. The tree was alive with tiny creatures, ants swarming amongst each other, red against black. I could almost hear the inaudible screams of the dying. Where does this path go? He did not reply. The battle of the ants had taken his full attention once again. I moved on. The sun was sinking as I reached the end of the path. Ahead of me, shining in the fading light, was a golden temple. Ornate silver gates sparkled in the sunset, standing ajar. It seemed I was welcome here. I stepped between them, marvelling at the scale of the enormous building before me, an enormous pyramid, one wall facing me and two more angling away on either side. I walked around it, counting three more walls before I returned to the gate inside. Citrus trees grew all around the courtyard, and water gushed forth from springs at every corner. There was a door here. I had not noticed the door on my arrival. Perhaps it had simply appeared by magic. With nowhere else to go, I pulled back the ancient steel bolts and pushed the door inwards. The long weathered wood creaked loudly as it swung back. I stepped inside the darkness of the temple. The door swung shut behind me. He has returned, rasped a sibilant voice. Always and forever he returns for you. I looked around. In the shadows, something moved. A long tail, a forked tongue, flickering in the light of a fading candle. A heavy blow struck my head and I fell. The last thing I heard was the voice of my father. Take him back to the start. I woke face down on a marble floor, an array of hexagonal tiles in blue and yellow. Well, I hope you're enjoying uh, this episode, Art Swarm Episode 1. And now we're coming to the very end, which is a reversal of uh, beginnings, a reversal of my piece of music that I played earlier in the programme. So this is exactly the same piece of music played backwards. You might also notice that for the audio-only pieces, because we welcome submissions in video and audio, uh, one special thing about Arts Form is that anyone can send things. But if you send an audio-only piece, then we're with, there are various looping animations of the audience, the virtual audience, in this Arts Form castle. And uh, that is the sort of people who will be looking at the performances here. So here is Endings.
And that's it for episode one of Art Swarm. Uh, well, I hope you've enjoyed this week's episode. Um, the thing about Art Swarm is that it's made by artists everywhere. It's made by people like you. So anyone can submit a piece of video or a piece of audio for us. The important thing is it's new. It has to be something that you've made for the program. So it's a world premiere. Everything we play on Art Swarm is brand new. It's brand new and exciting. So if you'd like to send me something, you can email me at artswarm at markshiki.com. Or you can follow the link in the video, which is on my website, where it will detail all the information that you need to send, the, the various either formats, but also the details of what makes an Art Swarm thing special and the permissions that you need. Because it's important everything is made by you. It's, it's an original piece of work. Uh, well, this programme goes out on Fridays every two weeks. So the next episode is, has a theme of experiments, which is quite a good one. And in the meantime, I will see you then.